Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Biology. Alright, and today in this episode I'm going to be looking at Kingdom Protista. Alright, or call them the Protoctista. Protoctista. Alright, Kingdom Protista or call them what the Protoctistas. Alright, so know that this video tutorial of course is brought to you by the one and only best CBT practice app. The old thing is called Jamba, which is all you need to succeed in your exam. Trust me when I say that. It has all the past questions that you need, even last year questions on the app. Okay, and of course, it has some wonderful features like the classroom feature where you can what uh, uh chat with our what AI power chat boot. Okay, of course, and then you can ask questions as, as you try to decipher answer to questions. Okay, you, you should try with that feature. The classroom feature is really, really interesting feature. Of course, we have the question search feature where you can search for question. Right, you can search for question by what by topic, and all the questions that have been set under that topic will come up for you to answer. So that means after you have finished studying a topic, you can just go and answer questions what on the app, or right, from that particular what topic. Also, we have the UTME challenge that will conduct for students who are writing jam every year. All right, in that challenge, you are competing with thousands of other jam by to win amazing prizes. Okay, so apart from winning prizes, there are so many other things you can get from it because we release your results every Saturday. Of course, after every challenge, we release your result and that challenge we conduct it every saturday till one week to your jam exam so imagine you are seeing your result after every what challenge when you see your result after every challenge two things or three things you may get from it is that one you will be able to see the areas are performing very well that the subjects you are doing very well and the subjects are not doing very well so that you can focus on those subjects that you are not doing very well at all and of course two you get used to how what jam said that question because um, the, the challenge when the challenge will give you will set jam standard questions for you and then totally it will build your confidence towards the exam and that is all you need to smash your jam okay so Today, uh, make sure that you download the app. The app is available for Android phone, for iOS devices very soon, and for your computer. In case you want to study without distraction, your computer is the best mostly. All right, so in case you want to get the download link for your computer, just send a message on WhatsApp 091 If you send a message on WhatsApp on this number, you just say, ah, I need the link to download for my computer and we'll send you the link, we'll download, we'll direct you on how to activate. Activation is just 3,000 Naira as at the time of shooting this video. So please jump on the app. If you, if you want to download for your phone, go to Play Store, search for the O3 Schools Jump app and you are good to go. Okay, now let's go back to why we are here today, which is what Kingdom Protista. All right, the Kingdom Protista or the Protoctistas, all right, they are the more diverse or the eukaryotic thing or the eukaryotic kingdom. Eukaryotic kingdom. They are the most diverse of the eukaryotic world kingdom. What are eukaryotes? Eukaryotes are what? Are organisms that have what? Nucleus. They have nucleus and what? Membrane bound organelles. Alright? Eukaryotes are what? Are organisms that have nucleus, that possess a nucleus and what other membrane bound what nuclear uh, uh, organisms that just the direct opposite of prokaryotes prokaryotes do not have nucleus and other membrane brown what organisms okay so please take note of what those were two uh differences okay now uh we say kingdom protesters are the most diverse of the world of the eukaryotic world kingdom they are mostly unicellular remember that uh they are mostly what unicellular Eukary eukaryotes are what are, they can be unicellular or multicellular all right so they are mostly what uh protists are mostly what unicellular but they can also be colonial or multicellular okay uh, what i mean i mean unicellular all right uh, they can also be what colonial or multicellular so please take note of that Okay, so the uh, kingdom protista, they are divided into three main categories. Into three main categories. One, we have the animal-like, animal-like protists, animal-like protists. We have the plant-like protists, and then we have the fungus-like protists. Okay, these are the three what, categories of what, of protists that we have. All right, the animal-like protists, the plant-like protists, and the fungus-like what protists. All right, the animal-like protists are called the protozoans. They are called the protozoans. 
all right or protozoa all right the animal like protists are called the protozoans okay the plant like protists right are called the protophytes protophytes or we call them primitive algae algae okay the, the plant like are called the protophytes although the primitive or algae okay while the fungus like are what the slime molds and water molds okay so the fungus like are called the what that are the slime molds and the water molds the animal like are called the protozoans the plant like are called the protophytes all right or the primitive algae while the fungus like are the slime molds and water molds you must take note of this these are typical exam mode questions all right please make sure you have liked this video make sure you are subscribed to this channel and make sure what you are sharing this video to other people too, so that they can also what learn and join us okay now having known this now know that the protophytes right the protophytes let's talk about the protophytes first the protophytes have cellulose cell wall the protophytes have cellulose cell wall and chloroplast protophytes they have what cellulose cell wall and chloroplast the protoplast uh, the uh, the protophytes have cellulose cell wall and the chloroplast the chloroplast has chlorophyll all right the chloroplast has chlorophyll and they are able to what to manufacture their own food okay the chloroplast have what chlorophyll they contain what chlorophyll so they are able to what to manufacture their own food okay so examples of protophytes are chlamydomonas chlamydomonas chlorella and and diatoms okay these are examples of what of protophytes examples are chlamydomonas chlorella diatoms okay they what they have what cellulose cell wall and what and chloroplast and they are able to manufacture their own food please take note of all these examples examples of protophytes are chlamydomonas chlorella and what and diatoms okay now examples of protozoans on the other side are what they have amoeba all right for uh, paramecium all right we have what euglena all right, these are examples of what of protozoans of all protozoans all right protozoans these are protozoans all right these are what protophytes okay now these are what the examples of what of uh, uh, protophytes clamadomonas chlorella and what and diatoms these are examples of what protozoans amoeba paramecium and what and euglena now we are, we have something to call the major classes the major classes of protozoans the major classes of what protozoans they include one we have mastigophora the major classes let me just uh take this off so that we'll get it very broadly All right we have the major classes of what protozoans we have one mastigophora all right this mastigophora an example is what euglena all right let me say eg yeah is euglena mastig Gophora, all right, it's a class of what? It's a major class of all the protozoan, all right? An example of Mastigophora is what is Euglena. And then number two, we have what we call Sarcodina, all right? Sarcodina, an example is Algae, all right? And then, of course, the last what? Uh, major class is what's called Sporozoa, all right? Number three, Sporozoa. And, of course, an example is what? Paramecium. So these are the major classes of what of the what protozoans okay mastigophora example is euglena sarcodina example is algae and sporozoa example is what is paramecium all right so of course i uh, know that what euglena is the only all right is the only protist it's an example of what of protist that has both animal like and plant like and plant like characteristics all right euglena euglena is the protist that has what animal like and plant like characteristics 
all right so you glean is what is the protein that has what uh animal like and what plant like or characteristics these characteristics we are going to see them very soon but for the purpose of this class we are done what with this what episode and of course now we are going to see what a question from the what o3 school jam app to further what but trust and drive our point at home to show you that what everything we are doing here is very very what's important there's thousands of questions we're just going to look at one from the o3 school jam app now all right let's see all right so let's see past question from the o3 school jam app this is a 2023 question 2023 2023 past question uh model four all right uh question two he said it's been displayed on your screen right now and say which of the following statements about the kingdom protista is correct which of the following statements about the kingdom protista is correct all right a they say protists are multicellular organisms with complex tissues all right remember i told you that what protists they are mostly what they are mostly what unicellular all right they are mostly unicellular but they can be what colonial and multicellular but they are mostly what unicellular so did they say protists are multicellular organisms all right with complex tissue that may not just hold that don't hold that thought first they then they say b protists are exclusively photosynthetic and produce their own food okay exclusively exclusively photosynthetic so that one to rise it off okay because we have what animal like protists we have fung fungus like protein also have what plant like or protists then see they say protists include org organisms such as amoebas paramecia and algae which is very very correct okay so uh that will be what our our correct answer then d they say protists are classified as prokaryotic organisms no protists are eukaryotics they are eukaryotic, uh, they are eukaryotes or anyway so of course that is what uh d is what is wrong that makes our answer to be what c all right so please look at one more question this 2022 question model 2 number 13 they say which of the following organisms has both plant and animal characteristics they say a amoeba b paramecium c euglena d volvox and of course the answer there is what is euglena they have both what um they have both animal like and what and plant like what characteristic all right so this is where i'm going to end please make sure you have liked the video make sure you are subscribed and make sure you are what you are sharing this video to your friends and loved ones and i'll see you in the next episode